So in case you didn't hear, Dubai literally built like a whole new city, but only for six months. It's kind of like the Olympics. You build it, they come, but then it's over. It was massive, 192 countries all invested to have a place that could showcase their culture, their tech, and their plans for the future of sustainability and the environment. Okay, wait, not all 192 countries invested. There were countries like Afghanistan who couldn't afford it, so the UAE paid for theirs. And then there were countries like the US who surely could pay for it, but refused to pay for their pavilion because Congress didn't want to. So the UAE said, okay, we'll just pay four years. But now that this whole expo is over, what's gonna happen to this place that cost almost $7 billion to create? Yes, $7 billion. Expos take place every five years. Expos are a big deal. They happen around the world and they get all this attention and millions of visitors only to be left as ghost towns afterwards. Expo was started 170 years ago as a way to bring countries together. But now with with internet and globalization, do we still need them? So now that Expo is over, the site will be transformed into a place with homes and offices. It will be called District 2020. They're even dedicating certain things to certain areas. So the Expo Mobility Pavilion will be used for exhibitions and for office space. They say that about 80% of the infrastructure will stay the same after this event. But I'm guessing that the infrastructure that won't stay the same is the crazy looking pavilions. Like this one, it's the UK Pavilion pavilion which cost more than 60 million dollars to construct and the UK government paid for it. Here's a little bit of what I experienced at the UK pavilion. Outside of the UK pavilion you see a stand for fish and chips. Super impressive outside which is meant to represent a musical instrument and it has a bunch of words that were submitted by people like you and me and apparently it uses AI to make a poem. So as you walk in, you're asked if you wanna give a word, any word, but you can't use your name. Then AI generates a poem from that, and if you're willing to wait 20 minutes or so, you'll see your word shown on the screen. There's not much else to do except walk down the stairs. This cost the UK government $60 million, and was paid for by the UK Department for International Trade. This is a good time to talk about food. You'll see little food stands like this everywhere. They even have like Baskin Robbins. They have a lot of restaurants. Apparently they even have like Michelin star dining here. They even have a convenience store. So this new District 2020 that they're now building, it will have apartments, co-working space, and shopping. They're actually also building it into a so-called smart city, and they want to have a population of almost 150,000 people actually living here. But remember, District 2020 or Expo 2020 is about 30 to 45 minutes away from like downtown Dubai. It's not exactly in the middle of the city. A lot of the pavilions will now be used for events or for startups that are working on sustainability. And then there's a Chinese-backed company called Atlas Capital Holding that will be building a blockchain campus here in District 2020. I personally loved Expo. I went more than three times and it's kind of like Disneyland, except instead of rides and entertainment, it brings together countries and tech and vision for the future of the world. But I'm also wondering how truly sustainable this was to put all this construction toward a place that was only there for six months. Yes, I know 80% of it will remain the same, but it still requires a lot of work to transform what we saw into what we're going to see. But I wanna know what you think. Let me know in the comments. Do you think we should still continue to do this? While you're at it, check out my full vlog from my day inside Expo 2020. Subscribe to my channel and find me on TikTok and Instagram at Upton.